guys what is going on welcome back to the channel for a brand new Surrey video on this one we'll be delving into all 18 teams in the Bundesliga about their current goalkeeper situation for the upcoming 24-25 season now I did a video on my channel much like this one for the Premier League I'll leave a link to that video above my head right now massive shout out to Nick who lives in Germany our Bundesliga expert all this information but as always guys please do your own research especially when you are buying goalkeepers let's jump straight into the goalkeepers be very pleased to know majority of the goalkeepers in this league are pretty much safe starters and nick has put here 100 percent for at least nine teams so we'll start off with four of those teams with kevin muller who plays for heidenheim he said hot muller 100 percent but expect to have a really tough season with key players getting transfers the scores could drop. So currently at twelve thirteen pounds for a limited card. Again, as Nick mentioned, there a lot of key players being transferred away from the club. So his scores may drop next season. So one hundred percent chance starting next season. So he's one of the nine one hundred percent. Just keep in mind they are losing key players in this transfer window. Up next is fairly straightforward in Bayern Munich's Manuel Neuer. One hundred percent chance starting next season. The thing Nick's mentioned here is obviously his age. He has one more season definitely at Bayern. But he's also been really injury prone over the last couple of years. So maybe pick up the backup at Bayern as well. He is 38 years old. Limited price. About £40 mark. As we all know, Manuel Neuer, Germany number one goalkeeper as well. I think he might stay for another two years for the Germany World Cup in America. I could be wrong. Um, but again, 100% chance starting next season at Bayern. Next, again, it's pretty much straightforward in Cabal over at Dortmund. He's literally put here, Cabal, 100%, no doubt. And again, some injuries, concerns last season in Dortmund um, for Cabal. But again, very safe start, a very good goalkeeper and very, very good scores as well for Dortmund. His price, one of the most expensive ones on this list, about £60 for his limited card. And the next player is also 100% next season, is Nubel, who obviously plays for Stuttgart. He went on to say, loaned Nubel for two years and should be 100% starter for next season. They've got a couple of young goalkeepers as well. Um, for Simon, who I actually do own as well, but he will get a loan most likely. So again, Nubel, number one next season for Stuttgart. And you can pick him up for roughly £36, £37 for a limited card. And there has been rumours of him going back to Bayern Munich next season or in 2026 when Neuer eventually leaves the club. A few very low scores, but also some very peak high scores as well. Bit of a make or break goalkeeper, but again, 100% starting next season for Stuttgart. Next, we have Bochum. Now, the goalkeeper situation at this club is still pretty much in the air at the moment in time. In fact, the only team in this list that potentially needs to buy a new number one goalkeeper next season. Um, Nick has mentioned here, Manuel Ryman, or Riemann here, was a starting goalkeeper last season, but has fell out with the manager or the club in the playoffs, and he will no longer be at the club, most likely next season. So he's lost his spot. He had a new goalkeeper in, or a goalkeeper in last season towards last games, um, two games in fact, but he's now retired. They brought in Drews, so it's Patrick Drews here, from a second division team in Germany, um, but most likely be the backup solution in goal for a new number one. So 25% for Patrick Drews and 75% of a potential new start signing goalkeeper that become number one at Bochum next season. Back to the safe starter list and we have Nicolet Vasilch who plays for St. Pauli as our next goalkeeper, 28 years old and he's 100% starting next season for St. Pauli. Um, Nick has said here he's definitely going to stay 100% but he could be a tough season. Obviously, the coach has just moved to Brighton. I mean, Hartle, top scoring captain, moving to the MLS. So, some well, massive changes, actually, at the club, including the manager. So, just be wary of that one. There's currently no cards on the market at the time of recording. But you can pick a limited club, usually, for about £10. Again, the manager has gone. I'm not quite sure how they perform next season. It's scoring-wise, looks okay. Very good AA, of course, with the manager being very much possession-based. Um, but again, they've lost the manager. Just be wary of that. 
for 100% chance starting next season. But Atibolo is another safe starter for next season. In fact, he's 100% starting for Freiburg next season. He's also on the 23 as well until 2026. So if you are looking for an on 23 goalkeeper that plays in the Bundesliga, has plenty of years left of utility. This guy is your man. Nick has said here he's one of the biggest German goalkeeper talents. Started last season with some mistakes, but picked up in the second half of the season. Freiburg had a manager change as well for the first time in decades. So that is a bit of a surprise as well. He actually saved two penalties last game of the season as well. On the 23 until 2026. A bit more of a premium because he's under 23, of course, but £32 with years and years left of utility. This guy could be a man for your team's next season. RB Leipzig are up next, and this goalkeeper situation is very tricky at the moment in time. Nick says it's a difficult one. Obviously, they brought in Van der Voort, who we all know playing from Sarer, from Genk. A big price tag as well. And he did buy him two years ago, um, but loaning back to Genk for two years. But he does expect Peter Glapsky to keep his starting spot 60% and Van der Voort at 40%. So Glapsky, obviously Hungarian, number one last season for Leipzig, of course. And obviously Hungary's goalkeeper as well in the Euros. Some very nice scores. He has said here that this may be the start of the season. We've got Champions League football as well. Um, he should be number one. So about 16, 15 pounds for his limited card. And Van der Voort, as we all know, on the 23. Paying a premium, slight risk at the moment in time. 40% of chance of starting right here at £40. Personally, I wouldn't take the risk, especially if you are starting out on Seren. have a few goalkeepers. There's plenty of other value out there for Bundesliga and also under 23 as well. So 60-40 split there at Leipzig. A very difficult, difficult one to predict. At the moment in time. Al Grabara is a new signing at Wolfsburg in goals. They obviously lost Castiles last season. I believe he has gone to Saudi. Uh, but they picked this guy up from Copenhagen. And Nick fully expects him to start next season. They've also purchased Muller from the German second side in Schalke. We expect Grabara to start next season at 95%. With Muller being the backup at 5%. So nice season for Wolfsburg. The only issue is... He has no cards at the moment in time. But as we all know, with the early release in a couple of weeks' time, you'll get these cards nice and early. And also, Kevin Trapp is 95% at Frankfurt as well. At 34 years old, his limited card is about £16, £17 at the moment in time. Now, Nick has said Trapp had a poor season last season, but should still start for at least one more year. So 95%. There's also no real contender for a second spot as well. So he's definitely going to start more or less next season, unless anything kind of pops up over these next few weeks. So, trap number one next season. No real contender for that spot. He is 34 years old, has a contract until 2026 after a poor season last season. His scores, yeah, probably reflect that as well. No really high scores in here at all. A lot of goals conceded, in fact, for Frankfurt last season. And you are paying that sort of price, which is probably a bit of fair, really, for Kevin Trapp. So, Kevin Trapp, 34 years old, 95% chance starting next season for Frankfurt. Up next, we have Union Berlin in Frederick Renault. Now, Nick has said here, as long as he stays, he will definitely start. He has put him at 90%. He's heard a few rumours, but they don't think he will sell. Um, but that's why he's got 90%, not 100% at this moment in time. He has put 10% as a transfer, just in case he sell him. Again, he's pretty confident, 90% sure he will be staying at Union Berlin next season. He's about £12 to £14 pound for limited cards, so slightly cheaper than Trap we just mentioned a moment ago. 31 years old as well, so age is on his side. And scoring-wise, obviously, some DMPs for the Euros at Denmark, but scoring-wise, fairly decent as well. If you're asking me, him or Kevin Trapp, um, get scoring history. I'd pick this guy right here. But again, 90% chance starting for Union Berlin next season. Champions of Germany are up next in Bayer Leverkusen. And Herdecki is pretty much going to start next season. According to Nick, he is 80%, probably more at the start of the season. They've also got a, got a good goalkeeper in Kobar. I'm probably butchering that name. 24 years old. That'll play all the cup games for Leverkusen. 
but he could potentially take Hideki's place towards the end of the season. That's why he's got him down as low as 80%. So at the start of the season, expect Hideki. He is 34 years old, so age not on his side at the moment in time. So he will be starting Leverkusen in net at the start of the season at £22-23. It's not a bad buy, in my opinion. But Nick has mentioned, of course, as well, that there is potential of a new goalkeeper towards the end of this current season or in the 25-26 season. So just be wary of that if you are looking to pick up Hideki moving forward. SC Augsburg is a difficult one to predict, according to Nick. He went on to say that Dorman was their original number one, this guy right on screen right now. But he did get hurt and misses the first few weeks of pre-season. They have brought in a new goalkeeper, this guy right here, in Labrovic. He expects Labrovic to start the first few games or potentially to get dropped if a poor run of form or if Dorman comes back. He was very solid last season, Finn Dorman, um, and he is determined to be their long-term future goalkeeper for the club. So he expects um, Labrovic to start the season off. Um, so it might be a bit doubtful at the moment in time which goalkeeper will be number one throughout the whole course of the season. Um, Dorman is about £7, £8. Pounds. Reflects his price um, at the moment in time. A very good solid season last season before his injury. Um, but Laverbeck, again, £7 as well. Over 50 50. If you are going by one, just buy the other as a backup. Up next is Borussia Gladbach, and their goalkeeper for the upcoming season, according to Nick, is Jonas Omlin at 95%. Look at his score straight away. You'll see a lot of DMPs. And as Nick mentioned here, missed a lot of injuries last season due to injury. Backup goalkeeper and Nicholas did okay, um, but Omlin is their captain and should get back that starting position next season. Limited price, about £15, £14 pounds at the moment in time. 30 years old, club captain, 95% chance of starting next season. Maybe one to look out for, maybe to purchase. Very decent price. He saw some goalkeepers in the Bundesliga. You know, north of this, £18, £19, £20. Pounds. A little bit of value to be had in this goalkeeper department at just 30 years old. On to the last four goalkeepers. I did leave these last on purpose. These are Nick's best value picks on So Rare. The next four goalkeepers are all 100% chance to start next season. So guaranteed starters in the Bundesliga. Starting off with FC Mainz in Robin Zentler, the German goalkeeper, 29 years old, at just £13 for a limited card. And his scores are fairly decent as well. Not too bad at all for £13 goalkeeper limited. Guaranteed starter next season at just 29 years old. Not too bad at all. Moving on to Hoffenheim. they got Backman as their goalkeeper. Underrated goalkeeper. I really like and expect a lot from him next season. Again, slightly older at 34 years old, but has two years left on his contract. Price about 14, 15 parts. Seems like the middle ground on this video. Four Bundesliga goalkeepers in limities. And again, scoring-wise, obviously a lot of DMPs for Germany. In the Euros, of course, being a sub-goalkeeper. His A score is what's impressed me. I used to own this guy's rare um, last season, in fact. And um, yeah, A score-wise, on your size. If you are playing limited or rare, you do need a goalkeeper. That's something sometimes scores decent AAs. Especially in the Bundesliga as well. If you are playing the Bundesliga competition, you'll find a lot of time there's high-scoring games, not many clean sheets. If you have got a goalkeeper like this, some very decent AA, when he does concede, he's still scoring. You know, a very decent score on so rare up next we have weiner now he did get promoted last season from a second division in bundesliga with the club Kaln. k-i-e-l i have no idea how to set name i'm not going lie sorry to fans out there of the club and um, it could be a real surprise this season as the club nick said they could finish last with 15 points and concede a lot of goals or play similar to high and high this season so could go either way Limited price, about £13. He is only 25 years old, so a very, very young goalkeeper. His scores will be very good, obviously, playing in the second division last season. Just be aware of that if you are buying a goalkeeper. Scores aren't always um, correct because coming from a different division, of course. A £13, 25 years old, a bit more of a punty one. Nick likes it. I like it. Get involved. Last but not least, we have Michael Zettler, who plays for Werder Bremen. 
He's slightly more expensive compared to the other goalkeepers we just mentioned at £19-£20. But you'll soon see his A scores are incredible. Nick said he's definitely number one goalkeeper next season. He did take number one spot towards the start of last season around October time. But as you can see from his A scores here, absolutely incredible. 24, 18, 28, 15, 32. Some incredible A scores. And as I mentioned in the video uh, previously, um, having good A scores, if your goalkeeper does concede, you've still got a great chance at winning a reward. If he does keep a clean sheet, 70s, 80s are on the card. So, very good goalkeeper. Contract until 2027, 29 years old. One of the better goalkeepers on this video. And there we go, guys. Hopefully, this video has been useful, covering all 18 teams in the Bundesliga and their current goalkeeper situation. If you have enjoyed the video, please smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new around here, and I'll catch you on the next one.